Welcome back everybody. Welcome to another gear review up here in the gear loft. Today we're going to review another pack, not the pack that I use, but the pack that Allie uses actually. This is the Gossamer Gear Gorilla 40 backpack. And I got this for her last Christmas um, as a Christmas present and she's been using it for about the past year. I'm going to give you guys like an overview of the specifications and stuff like that, all the like nerdy gear stuff. And then we'll bring Allie in and we'll actually talk to someone who uses this because I've never used it so obviously I can't give you guys a good rundown of what it feels like to wear. I have used the Gossamer Gear Gorilla, or the Gossamer Gear Mariposa 60 and if you check out I'll throw a link right up there. Uh, I have a gear review of that pack, great pack. This is a slightly smaller pack from the Gossamer Gear line. Uh, so let's crack into it. So here's an overview of the pack. The pack does come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. What you're looking at here is a medium. Um, so the whole pack is 40 liters. The internal um, big pocket is just about uh, 28, 29 liters. So like the Mariposa, like my Z-Packs, it's just one big pocket in there. Um, there is a hydration sleeve. That's the only thing that's in there. So the whole, the uh, the big the big pocket, the big pouch, the inside is 28 liters, and then you the rest of the pockets come up to 40 liters. So you've got two equally sized pockets here. These are just made for water bottle pocket, water bottle water bottles. And then you have the classic Gosper Gear big mesh uh, pocket on the back right here in addition to the two hip belt pockets. So the the entirety or most of the pack is made from their Robic 70 nylon and then what they do and the Mariposa does this uh, as well is certain parts of the pack so like the bottom here and the sides are made out of like a heavier strength I think it's a, a 100 denier Robic nylon so they give you kind of like a added protection on parts that would like scrape up against rocks um, you've got your two um, trekking pole holders. You have an ice axe loop down here. Um, like most of their packs, this comes with an integrated sit pad that is kind of like your backrest. Um, and then the two hip belt pockets, which are pretty big. They're not huge. You know, I can I can barely fit my fist in the hip belt pocket. So like they're big enough, and you get two of them, which is really nice. Um, like a lot of their packs, you can uh, swap out the hip belts. So this is a medium size hip belt. Actually, this is a small size hip belt. Um, they're small, medium, large. So this is a medium size pack with a small size hip belt. And Allie is 5'7", and this pack fits her pretty perfectly. They, the sizing recommendations are if you're between 5'5 five five and 5'10, five you get a medium. And then if you're below 5'5, five five, you get a small. And if you're above 5'5, five five, or if you're above 5'10, you get a large. So that's the sizing and the sit pad, like the other ones, uh, it comes right out. And then right here is the frame where you can swap out the uh, hip belt pocket. Or not, you can swap out the hip belt. So the max recommended load capacity of this pack is 30 pounds. Um, so like the Mariposa is 35 pounds. This is a little bit smaller. The newest feature for this pack, and if you check out our Dolly Sods video, Andy actually uses a Gossamer, or he used a Gossamer Gear Gorilla 40 pack, and his model didn't have this, is they have a removable, what they call the brain, uh, a removable lid, and you can remove this, and you can kind of change the configuration of the pack by using the straps here to go across like that. So they, they kind of talk on their website about like hackable configurations of this pack. So you can lose, uh, you can lose what they call the brain and you can have different configurations of this pack, which is kind of cool. Now, because they have this, the pack is a little bit heavier than it used to be. Um, I'll flash the weights up on the screen. It's in the mid 30 ounces um, and then the small, medium, large all weigh a little bit differently. Um, in, in comparison, like our Z-Packs, 60, 65 liter packs are about 28 ounces. This is a little bit heavier because it's got a detachable lid and it's made of nylon, not dynamic. And then lastly, this pack, like all their packs actually, I believe all their packs, this is a unisex pack, so there's not, it's kind of nice, you know, there's not a male, female configuration. So that's a good overview just of the, the tech specs, all the geeky, nerdy gear stuff of this pack. So now, 
it's time to talk to someone who actually has used this thing, because I never have. All right, here she is, and I hope I edited that right to make it look as if she <laughs> appeared here. We'll see. All right, so here you can hold it. All right. So what are your, so she's used this for about a year, multiple trips, uh, several times in winter and summer. What are your, what do you like about it? Overall, very positive. Um, it's very comfortable, feels very lightweight um, when you're hiking with it, even after several miles. Um, it's not too uncomfortable. I had used, I think, Andy's large one before, and I felt like the shoulders were rubbing, but this medium fits me uh, pretty well for my height and build. Um, so yeah, I think the unisex works well um, as a woman. Um, I love the two hip out pockets. I use those a lot. The one, I mean, they're, they're big, but they're not, they're kind of just right to fit my iPhone 6, but just barely. Like, I kind of have to shove it in there, so. The Plus ain't fitting in there. No, no, you ain't getting a No, you ain't plus getting a phablet in there. <laughs> um, I think by far my favorite part of this pack is the big mesh pocket. They do. Gossamer Gear does a really good job on the mesh, on their on their packs like it's way better than the z packs one it's heavier this is very flexible i mean you can just keep stuffing and stuffing stuff if you forgot to pack something last minute just throw it in the front here um it feels pretty durable like you're not afraid to stretch it out um so i usually put my camel back in here and just a lot of other random stuff i also like the top pouch just for other the things the brain you know, they call that the, the brain, brain. Just for things you want immediate reach to, maybe while you're hiking, I like like hand sanitizer. That's true. If you just or put a, that in or there. a nap. Um, but yeah, I I've always hiked with this on. I've never taken it off. I didn't actually realize you could until now, until I heard the tech specs. Um, but no, I would I would keep this on for every every trip just because I like that extra storage component. Um, same what do you, yeah, what do you normally Yeah, for the these? side things, I usually do one water bottle. Fits a smart water bottle pretty perfectly. And then I put my, I think I put my chair here, my flex light chair. It also fits oh, perfectly yeah. Andy did that too. Yeah, you can fit a chair And that's great too because the first thing you want to do when you get to camp is just sit down. So you just pull the chair right out. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have that kind of immediately available. Does the... Does the back foam pad make your back sweaty? That was it my does. issue with the It with does the a little. Set. Watching Kevin with his Z-Packs now in that arc, I am pretty jealous. Check out uh, that review. Yeah. So, it, I mean, it's nice, it's soft, but yeah, after several miles, it, it gets a little sweaty and it, it feels good to take off and, after. And she is converted to the chair religion, so she doesn't need a sit pad either. I don't use it. I think... There's been a trip where somebody else doesn't have a chair and I can loan this out. That's, that's, that's what we always use our sit pads. <laughs> give them to these poor people who don't carry chairs. Yeah, I don't, I don't use it otherwise. Um, yeah, I don't know. What don't you like about this pack, if um, anything? Well, one thing I also just learned about researching this pack is that I've been using incorrectly, which I will be excited to try. The next thing is the Camelback. They have this little loop here. The hydration the port. The hydration port. That's the technical term for that. Where you're meant to put your camelback inside, up along your back, which I'm not sure I would there's like because it would get really yeah, warm. There's a pouch. You got this pad blocking your blocking it from reading there, but yeah, yeah there's there is a hydration sleeve on the inside. You can thread the hose up through here and have it come out either so side. So I think that would be a lot better. But before, when I had it on the in the pouch, on the mesh pouch, I had it looped over here to the arm and had it clipped onto this yellow strap and. It would always just kind of be flimsy and go into my face She's while talking I was hiking. about the camelback hose. The hose, and it would be annoying. But I think she it, didn't if do I do it properly, and realize that it there will be less is a hydration port on there. I'll try it, but I'm worried that the water will be. Or just don't very use a warm. bladder whatsoever. That's true. I could just use the side. Just use a water bottle on the side there. I well, another thing I'm jealous about the Z packs is, well, I guess it's not Z packs. It's your detachable yeah, water bottle. Yeah. So. Yeah, one thing about nice. these Gossamer Gear packs is they don't have um, they don't have the same daisy chain configuration that a Z Packs has. So getting a third party water bottle thing onto here is tricky. It can be done. It can be done, but it's not as easy as Z Packs where you can. So because of this little thing, it's hard to feed this thing out and feed things into here. Gossamer Gear might make an attachment, but uh, that is one thing about the the daisy chain on here versus other packs. This is a little bit. It's not as customizable, but it's still nice. And you can still, if you needed to, you could Jimmy rig a hydration thing right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Would you recommend this to someone? I would. I would. Would you recommend, would recommend this to a female? Does it fit the female form? Yes, I think so. Unisex. Having borrowed a couple other packs of yours, I say this is much more tailored for a woman. Um, fits a lot better. It's a little slimmer. Um, and the lightweight aspect of it, I think, helps also. So, yeah, definitely would recommend. I I've had a pack before, I think... Oh, I don't remember the brand. I don't know, some but it was brand. made for women specifically, and I'd say this is pretty comparable. Like I wouldn't, I could see this being made for women specifically. If and the main maybe. reason she wanted this pack was because of the colors. I believe colors were color part was of. A, it was an aspect. She, color was an aspect she liked. I, I wanted choices, and I like I this gold. Like it's cool. Gold, yeah. It's nice, and it. I mean, it hasn't even shown. I've it's, taken it on several. Yeah, she's used it for trips. she's yeah, used it, it for a year and it looks brand it new still. Look, yeah, it does look pretty good. And I just loaned it out to Alex also. So yeah, on the uh, think... on the Ohio pile trip that we posted last, uh, Andy's wife used this pack because Andy, she used Andy's old gorilla previously. It had the same issues she had. It was a large size gorilla and it just doesn't doesn't fit the woman form nicely. Yeah. Which is interesting. You'd think the large would give you more breathing room with. Um, the fit and the shoulders, but for some reason, moving to a smaller size just made it all fit better, yeah. and I didn't get that same rub on my on my shoulders and neck. So yes, would definitely recommend. All right, guys, thanks for letting me join on this special episode of SB Outdoors. Um, thanks for tuning in, and check out the next one.